Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this updated video this morning. I hope that you guys are doing really great. And so I'm here with the latest with what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas, as well as what is expected through today uh, in terms of that rainfall and even the uh, Saharan dust as we're going to be progressing into next week. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so as we take a look at the satellite imagery here, we can see that at the moment there isn't anything too crazy going on across areas such as northern South America. However, as we're going to be heading to later today, there is a pretty good chance that there will be some thunderstorm activity across some areas uh, once that daytime heating sets in. And so uh, moving up into the Lesser Antilles, though, we can see that there is quite a bit of activity. Uh, so that tropical wave is uh, making its way into the Caribbean and there we can see all of that shower and thunderstorm activity in association with it. So it's likely that majority of the islands are at least experiencing some overcast weather in some areas, uh, maybe some thunderstorms or some heavy rainfall at times. But uh, what we see is that all this activity isn't uh, concentrated here. So uh, it is unlikely that there is going to be very persistent rainfall for a very long time across any one island. So it's likely that there will be a lot of intermittent rainfall, uh, maybe even some intermittent sunshine as well. But uh, all this moisture is extended across the Lesser Antilles, including Barbados and going down into Trinidad and Tobago. So let me know what conditions are like for you. Moving on over into Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, we can see that uh, at the moment there isn't too much. However, as we head to later today, it is likely that there is going to be some rainfall within the area. So if you're there, be on the lookout for that. That down in the ABC Islands, likely some overcast skies. You can let me know exactly what conditions are for you if you're in Aruba, Curacao or Bonaire. And then uh, now we want to drift a bit more to the west. And here we can see that uh, there is some activity also in the Western Caribbean as well as from parts of Central America. There's that area of some very deep convection which is slowly dissipating now over parts of Guatemala and Belize. Uh, we also see lots going on over in the Eastern Pacific, that activity along the coast of Nicaragua and uh, mostly some cloud cover across some areas. But for some parts of Central America, there is some uh, beautiful sunshine this morning. Morning. And uh, as we head to most of the Bahamas, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola, uh, similar story, some beautiful sunshine this morning across some areas. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at the rainfall that is expected. And first, we're taking a look at what the GFS has to show. And so as the map becomes more colorful, more rainfall is expected. So we can see that GFS is expected that there will be quite a bit of rainfall across some spots in Central America, also going down to Colombia. Venezuela, possibly for some spots in Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana, and over in the Eastern Islands, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, all the way from Anguilla down to uh, Grenada, as well as Trinidad and Tobago and Barbados. All these islands expected to receive some rainfall as we progress through today, but things are drier as we head to Hispaniola, uh, Cuba, parts of the Bahamas, and even sections of uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands and is Euro in agreement with this for the most part the model is so Euro is showing something pretty much similar here the same area is expected to receive some substantial rainfall parts of Central America Northern South America we do see some more areas in Northern South America expected to receive some more rainfall ABC Islands going to be remaining in the clear for the most part and all of that moisture over in the east expected to enhance that rainfall activity and so as I said we're not talking about concentrated activity so so it's likely that there will be a lot of intermittent rainfall maybe some heavy intermittent rain uh, at times for some of you guys and uh, with that what happens sometimes is that there is even flash flooding when there is that sudden uh, downpour of that very heavy rainfall so uh, please be mindful of that as well guys and stay safe uh, and take the necessary precautions where required and then again, going to the Greater Antilles for the most part, Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba, maybe some isolated thunderstorms in the afternoon, even for Grand Cayman as well. But uh, for the most part, much is not expected. Same story as we go up to the Bahamas 
into the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. And then finally, we're looking at the latest Saharan air layer map. And as we head more to the shades of oranges and reds, that is where we have these denser plumes of dry air. So that uh, new plume out there is continuing to make its way to the west. Of course, it's being carried by the trade winds and uh, it is likely going to be in, uh, infiltrating the Caribbean as we head into the new week. But there is some dust and dry air still lingering in some parts of the northern islands, which helps to stabilize the weather there. And that is why much rainfall is not expected across uh, some of these areas, parts of Cuba, Jamaica, Hispaniola, uh, the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. But uh, once that tropical wave is going to be making its way by, it's going to be helping to increase the instability and uh, resulting in a bit more of that rain, especially going on to Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, which rainfall is expected there today. But for now, uh, as I said, the islands are in the clear, nothing much happening. And so that is pretty much it for this update video, guys. And so I hope that you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond once I get the chance. And remember to always be weatherwise.